Well, tonight, an urgent warning if your home has a dehumidifier. That device that's likely in your basement could catch your whole house on fire. 13 investigators learned millions of dehumidifiers pose a serious danger, but most families don't even know about it until it's too late. Our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel shows you tonight this hidden problem and how to learn if your dehumidifier is on the recall list. From the outside, you'd never know anything was wrong. But inside Max McCauley's home... This was the kids' grandkids' playroom. It's a much different story. Totally devastated everything. The entire basement is badly damaged by fire. And up on the first floor... Everything is smoke-covered. You name it, it's gone. They said everything has to go. For Max and his family, it means the entire home and everything inside must be gutted. A lot of memories. Beyond the shock and disappointment, Max is also frustrated. Frustrated to learn what caused his home to catch on fire. There's the melted down unit. That burned collection of coils and wires is all that's left of a dehumidifier that Max had running in his basement round the clock for the past six years. He had no idea the dehumidifier was recalled three years ago because it could overheat and lead to a fire just like this one. Very very surprising. It was very disturbing to find out these were all under recall and, and we never knew anything about it. Max is not alone. Millions of Americans now have a recall dehumidifier in their basement or crawl space and don't know about the danger. The numbers are staggering. In the past three years, the government has recalled 5.6 million dehumidifiers. They've already been involved in hundreds of fires causing nearly $24 million in damage. The recalls impact 60 different brands, all built between 2003 and 2013. And they were all sold at big-name retailers like H.H. H. Gregg, Home Depot, Kmart, Lowe's, Menards, Sam's Club, Sears, and Walmart, and online at eBay and Amazon.com. Insurance companies and fire departments are all too familiar with the problem. First question they ask, was it a dehumidifier? They knew exactly what it was. And investigators sent to study Max's house fire told 13 Investigates they see the impact of defective dehumidifiers all the time. It's a big problem. It is. Not a lot of these. It's why Max invited all of us to see his basement firsthand. Because right now, there are still millions of other faulty dehumidifiers running in basements all over the country. People need to know this, that, that they need to check these units because it could save a life and a lot of heartache. So is your dehumidifier a fire hazard? Here's how you can find out. Right now, go get a pen and some paper and go down to the basement, find your dehumidifier and turn it around. You'll find the label back here. You need to find out the model, the make, and the serial number, and then go to WTHR.com. There, we've got a link for you with all the information you'll need to find out if your dehumidifier has been recalled. If it is, go ahead and unplug it and stop using it right away. You may be entitled to a replacement and a partial refund. Jenny, back to you.